What's up, guys? It is Friday, which means the MMA Junkie Twitter mailbag is back, and we have a lot to talk about. Our first question this week comes from Yannick, who asks, What sanctions do you think should have been imposed on Paulo Costa for his failure to meet his contracted weight of 186 pounds in his fight versus Marvin Vittori this weekend? Obviously, this is the big story this week. Paulo Costa coming out into fight week, not near the shape that he needs to be. Uh, Say he weighs 212 pounds a couple of days before his fight, uh, two days before weigh-ins. That's problematic, and we'll get to that in a second. But in terms of the sanctions, I don't think the 20% forfeiture, which he was, is what the agreement came down to, was enough. I think we should have been looking at 30 or 40%. And I know sometimes behind closed doors, uh, these percentages are actually more. I've heard of that going on in the past. Um, to me, I don't think that this is enough. I think him coming in a whole 20 pounds, trying to have a fight get shifted 20 pounds, throws off Marvin Vittori, and it sets a bad precedent for the rest of the division and the rest of the promotion, which is kind of what the next uh, question is about from Andy Armbar. It's more of a statement, but I, something I want to elaborate on. He said, first Diaz, now Costa. The weight cuts become more of a joke in the UFC. Adesanya has spoken up about the penalties being harsher for missing weight, especially when it is being billed as a title eliminator, not professional at all. So, I mean, to me, I think this sets a bad precedent when you have Nick Diaz doing it. Now you have Paulo Costa doing it. It, it makes fighters, these bigger name fighters, think that they can just come into fight week and worse comes to worse. Maybe it's not their first option, but they can do something like this. And I think that it, it not only throws off the divisional flow, it could be used against, uh, you know, it could be fighters could try to use it to their advantage. It could become a strategy. So I think the UFC needs to nip this in the bud. I don't, we haven't heard from Dana White yet. I'm interested to hear what he has to say about Paulo Costa, win or lose. Uh, but hopefully this isn't a precedent that the UFC can, can, is setting going forward because I think that that, that uh, this should not be acceptable behavior, so to speak. Next question coming from Andrew Harbaugh. More Costa talk. If Costa went, were to move to 205, how many fighters in the top 10 would he be the favorite against? Looking at the division right now, uh, I think styles make fights. There are certain guys that are higher up in the rankings I think he would beat. There are other guys lower down that I think he would struggle with. Um, I, I looked at it earlier. I think about five out of the 10, you know, I think that he could beat Glover. I think that he could beat Anthony Smith. I think uh, Uzdemir was one of them as well. Um, there's just certain matchups that I would like him against. I think his, he's a big guy, you know, bulky guy. I don't know how long he is compared to these other fighters, um, but I think he'd fare well. I think he'd be a top 10 guy. And uh, I hope that that's the move next. I hope that, that this is, there's no more 185 Paulo Costa. That would be if I was in charge of the UFC. Hey, Nolan. Hope all is well, my man. I have two questions this week, one pertaining to UFC Vegas 41, the other pertaining to Bellator Moscow. With a victory over Fedor, does Tim Johnson earn a heavyweight title shot? Yes, I, I think so. Uh, I think both guys, either one of them will earn a title shot. Uh, right now, Valentin Moldovsky is the interim uh, championship holder. He'll probably fight Ryan Bader next, if, if as long as Bader's ready to go. However, I think if Fedor wins, I think he'll step into the fight against Bader. It seems like from what I've heard, that's what he wants. He wants uh, he wanted this Johnson fight because he thought it would put him in a number one contender slot. As for Johnson, he had a close fight with Moldovsky, and I could see the promotion running it back. Um, you know, we'll see. There's other fighters in the division, too. There's Minikov. There's, uh, you know, Tyrell Fortune hanging up there. Steve Mowry surging. So a little less, uh, little less confident with him, but it is what it is. And then your second question, will Costa bring heavy heavier effect to his punching power? Probably. I mean, he's got more weight behind it, so he's got more muscle and that's kind of part of the issue here. I appreciate everyone that sent in questions. If you guys have anything you want answered next week, feel free to comment below or on the uh, tweet that I'll send out a couple of days before the mailbag next week. Uh, I appreciate everybody tuning in and enjoy the fights this weekend, guys.